Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the distinct function. I'm sure you've all had that situation where you've had a list uh, that you want to make unique and you've been lying uh, and fretting um, all night to work out how to do that. So I have come to your rescue on this occasion. So what we've got is a situation which I've shown on the screen here, which is apples, apples, pears, pears, um, and so on. And and it's the question is how do you get it into so that you just see the distinct items and guess what you use the distinct function so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over onto here's one I prepared earlier now what we've got is I'll show you the data set that we're actually looking at um, and what it is it's a game that I made for my wife to play with the school kids and so on and what you can see is actually um, the way it works is that um, you there are 25 entries for every game. Now um, you can see actually see the full data set, so you kind of get loads and loads and loads and loads of repeats. And it's um, and what that means is that when we do, say for example, if we had a drop down um, as we have here, what we'll get is um, so I've got Blockbusters BB game name. What a fantastic title! Um, and if you actually look at what's in the drop down, we got tons of repeats um, and so what we're going to do here is we are going to use the distinct function so I've got blockbusters.bb game name so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say well actually no I don't want to do that I want to do equals um, distinct blockbusters um, and then you do comma and then you do the field that you are interested in and it, I think because I'm connected yeah well it works straight away which is brilliant so I am now filtering on that so you can only see the games that we've got and then the sort of the application for that let's see if I can actually if I'm bright enough to work out how to do this um so what we've got is in here the items are blockbusters and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little filter on here um I'm going to call it uh I'm going to do this rename here, DD um, uh, BB game game name. Good. And so what we're going to do is on this data table here is we're going to wrap it with a filter function. So I'm going to do filter, uh, blockbusters, how I'm going to filter, and I'm going to do BB game name equals DD BB game name dot selected dot value and what that's going to do is going to filter my table and clearly there isn't much of a change so far but in reality there has been a change because you can only see the um the French shops one and if we go and do something like the capitals and um, then we can see that it filters that accordingly so that I think it's quite cool um definitely very useful um now you would have to be careful as to whether or not you've got any delegation issues and by that I mean when you get to the sort of 500 plus in a particular table you've got to be a little bit careful about what you get up to but that is all for the moment please like please subscribe share all those sorts of things and do let me know if you if there are any things that you'd like me to do any vids on thanks everyone cheers bye